hi and welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card here. Again this one's just using scraps out of my um, many thousand bits of pieces. I overcut on a project I was doing so I will be using lots of these over the next week couple of months. Thank you. So the stamp set I'm using today is from a celebration set and it's perfect pairings um, I'm using the happy day one and um, you can get this one for free if you spend £45 um, with stamping up or in multiples of £45 so I'm just going to get that off out and pop it down onto my block and you'll need my card base today is five by five by seven, so my black mat is five, sorry six and three quarters by five and four and three quarters. So I will just lay neatly on there. I've automatically done my white fur stitching on it just to speed that bit up. So you just have to make sure that it's straight before you press down on your card. Straight it's going to be. Okay, so I'm using the tag topper punch as well. So I'm just going to go in and just punch out four of these. And then you can even use the little tops of these as well for something as well, so I don't chuck them out. <clears throat> then I'm also using the little balloon punch which is in the spring summer catalogue and it's a it's in a bundle and you can get three little punches. So one's a balloon, one's a candle and one's a cupcake. And then what I just do is I go as far in as my punch will go and I just punch out the middles. And all four of these. And then I just alternate these because they're double sided, you can get four different looks quite easily. So on the, on the back, you just want to put some foam dots. I put four down because I like it to be nice and secure and it's not moving anywhere. And then you just leave the balloons for two seconds and then when you bring your card base down and then you can play around with your own where you want them to show so I'm going to have mine like that And then with the balloons, I tend to do what's on the opposite side. So the dots will go with the stripes. The writing will have the dots. The stripes will have the flower. And the flower will have the stripe. So, just 
bring it down and then make sure that that as lined up as you can get them if you really don't want it nice and wonky unless that's the look you're going for there you go so you can just start taking these off one by one and then placing them down and again don't push down hard on them until you until you've got them to where you want them to be lined up as you can get them equal spacing around each side as well when you've got the first one down you can use that as a guide for your others Like so. so just push that to one side and then just get some scrap card and I'm using the basic black ink from Stamping Up and just push it, push it down and then just stamp it. It doesn't matter if it's upside down because you'd be cutting it out anyway. And then I've got my washi label punch again from Stamping Up. Punch that out, and I'm just going to pop some frame pads on the back up here. And I do three to stop it sagging in the middle. down and try and centre it above your two balloons and there you go a nice quick card just made from scraps but it looks really elegant and you can get two different looks just with the different papers and different colours and the papers I've used are up on the basic paper stack from stamping up as well okay then thanks for watching and if you like my videos give me a thumbs up or even subscribe and i'll be back with some more bye now